Hello, unicorns and sports bettors. So today I will be sharing my psychic prediction for Super Bowl 54 on February 2nd, 2020. So for those of you who don't know me, my name is Pamela and I am the creator of the Crystal Unicorn Tarot and um, Unicorn Life Success Coach. So usually on my channel, I share how to raise your vibrations, live your best unicorn life. But today I'm changing it up and I just want to share one of the passions that you know I love and um, I also do every single day. And with me today to share that is my gambling partner and BFF, Rhea. Hi, Pam. Thanks for inviting me. Yeah. Excited to be here. <laughs> yes, yes. So this is actually Rhea's first time on anything, but I was like, you have to help me share this because we've been doing this. How long have we been doing this? Um, well, we've been playing fantasy football together for like seven, seven, oh, eight wow. years. Six, yeah. Seven years. And then we just bet on everything together. We, you know, we talk about it every, um, every day at work. We see each other. We go through our stats and we go through um, our own, um, you know, anything that we come up with ourselves. We talk about it with each other and we usually agree on most things. So Yeah, we do. And I, and that's why we're wearing actually our Bears 22 jersey, <laughs> yay, because um, we had Matt Forte in our fantasy football one the first year and we won, we were first place. So yay, yay us. Okay, yes. and so um, yeah, so today I will be actually talking about what I got. Um, I do a psychic reading every year on who's going to win the Super Bowl, I know, but it works for some reason. I think I'm four, four and one. I think that is, I believe that is my record for now, since the 2012 Giants um, win over the Patriots, I predicted that one, and, um, but at that time, I had no idea what was going on, so, but I was like, oh, wow, it really works, so um, a few years later, I decided, we decided to just do this, because we're like, I got it right, let's try this, okay, so um, just a disclaimer, Rian and I aren't here to trick you or try to convince you to bet anything. We could care less. <laughs> We're just here to share what we know and that we know that a lot of our friends actually do follow our bets. So we just want to share with you what you know we think um, who's going to win the Super Bowl and um, a little bit of what we are betting this week, okay? So maybe to just inspire you to have fun, right? Because we have a lot of fun betting. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. So Rhea works with me at Planet Hollywood. So sometimes we're on the tables and like kind of far away and we're just like, we, we got a touchdown. <laughs> <laughs> Waving, yelling. <laughs> right, right. So um, yeah, so Super Bowl. Okay. So Super Bowl this year, the clues that I got from my reading was super specific. So usually I don't get really specific clues. Um, last year when the Eagles won, we, we got the color green and it was an animal. So we were talking about it, didn't, weren't we like it was the Panthers, right? Who else did we say? Seattle, I don't know, like all the, all the, all the animals that were green. Yeah, because I usually do my reading in October. So it could have been like anyone. <laughs> and but this yeah, it could have been anyone. We were like, what do we do? So we didn't really have a good future bet last year. But this year, they were very, very specific. So in October, um, I asked and the clues were, it's the color gold, NFC. I got the word second. And I got the 1982 Super Bowl winner. <laughs> <laughs> so of course Rhea researched because I texted that to her and we looked it up and guess who it was Niners 49ers <laughs> 49ers wow yeah. and yeah. <laughs> so this was in October that um we got this and we were like okay because sometimes my readings I mean you have to find the clues so we were saying, who else did we say it might be? It might be the Saints, right? Because they're gold, they're oh, NFC. Yeah. yeah, so we had some few options open still and we didn't want to do this video until we were pretty sure. And I guess the Saints lost, you know, last week. And so the only person that's gold, I mean, the only team that's gold left is Niners. <laughs> Any, do you think this clue could be anybody else, Rhea? 
I don't really well, see any. Yeah, I mean, um, if we if we're just talking about the NFC, then I think I'm thinking that it's going to be Niners Packers, and I know Packers they might they're pretty you know like there's not a lot of stats with the, you know their new coach working with Aaron Rodgers not a lot of playoff stats for that so it's kind of hard to you know really like get a lot of information um, and it's same thing with um, with Garoppolo and the Niners That's there's true. not a lot of stats with it, there's not a lot of play stats there's a lot of uh, season stats with you know Shanahan and Garoppolo and their team and stuff like that but you know this is the first time that the team has been completely healthy you know they got um D4 Kittle. back Kittle yeah um they you know everyone's healthy they got a really good uh um, they got some good defense. They've been working on their defense. Uh, what else? Yeah, and um, we know that Coach Shanahan is super um, creative with his offensive plays. So, yes, like, he's no a very one good really play knows. Caller. Yeah, no one really knows yeah. how to uh, go against that yet. <laughs> but um, I mean, so this is just you know all the woo woo magical prediction. So here's Rhea really giving us some stats. <laughs> on the real life right so I mean yeah. the last, I mean last year though Eagles like how hard was it to bet on the Eagles against the Patriots yeah that one yeah that one year yeah it was like we were like are we crazy <laughs> yeah we had a really hard time betting against uh the Patriots, Patriots yeah <laughs> so yeah. yeah. So um, I know that you also said um, Packers. Why do you think the Packers would be also another good pick? Well, so the Packers, they are, uh, you know, they're just, okay, so they, they kind of, um, they're, they have a game right now. Um, and you know Aaron Rodgers is Aaron Rodgers. He's always amazing. His his stats this season were actually very right. impressive. Um, and uh, Aaron Jones is for Green Bay. So he, their coach, their coach, the new coach Lafleur. He's you know he's found a way to utilize um, Jones and also their other um, their other running back uh, Jamal Will. Uh, and Jones is very good in the red zone. So like if you need a clutch play, like he's there and he'll run the ball in, you know. And, yeah, we love Aaron uh, Jones. Yeah. So um, they could be yeah, a great a contender. Player. Yeah. So I mean, I mean, I I personally think it's it'll be you know the Packers and um, the Niners in the NFC Championship game. So that's what I was focusing on, and then you know we'll we'll see from there. Yeah. <laughs> After, so yeah. actually, if they um so. Rhea and I already bet the future, which is a future bet to see who is going to win Super Bowl um, a few months ago. So we had Niners at um, nine to two. So it's about seven times your bet. So we got the Niners seven times. Right now, it's about three times your bet, so plus 300. So if you bet the Niners now to win Super Bowl, you will get three times your bet. But if you do maybe think it's the Packers also, but we really believe that it's the Niners just because of yeah. the the psychic prediction, 1982 yeah. Super Bowl winner. How, I mean, that's right. super specific. It was the Niners, yeah. right? Yeah. But right. if you do think there's a chance that Packers might be it, right now it's like seven and a half. So plus 750 for the bet, for the future bet. So that's actually pretty good odds. I mean, I might just like put a little bit more on that. Just in just case. To see. Yeah. Just in case. Yeah. So sometimes uh, Rhea and I um, come up with like these crazy betting schemes, <laughs> yeah. trying to win it all. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't work. Well, we like doing teasers, like when it gets further along. Yes, um, and we will be doing off. them. Yeah, we, we like to do teasers, just you know, gives you a little bit more of a, more room to, you know, for your, for your team so like instead of the Niners having to cover by seven you would just need them to win by one like that kind of thing and then we'll right. put it in with another team you like so yeah that'll be today we'll be actually giving you our teaser for today and hopefully I can get my video up for you guys 
<laughs> but yeah. we're gonna get you a special one. Okay. And also, what about the Ravens? Because they're like a super top contender, even though they're not gold. So I do not think yes. the Ravens are going to win, but they're actually the favorite. So right now they're at plus yeah. 180 to win the Super Bowl. Um, I, I just don't think they're going to win because they're, they don't have gold. <laughs> that's my, that's <laughs> my logic. But, <laughs> but we have to, we should talk about them. Yeah. Yeah. We, um... We were doing more NFC today, though, not as much AFC. Right. Didn't, we, um, I mean, I didn't, I didn't plan AFC. Oh, should time. we talk about the matchup, though? Do you think that, I mean, that's like the all-time. And actually, that was the year where I got the bet wrong. <laughs> oh, <laughs> which, I got, which one? Yeah, that, um, the ravens Niners year. I think that was a year that I couldn't, oh, I couldn't oh, get who was okay. going to win. Yeah. 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 So that that's interesting. So that's actually my stat. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, so what are you saying? It's going to be Ravens? Ravens I don't know. Ravens Ravens Hopefully Niners. not. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. But we do, we do also love the Chiefs. The, the Chiefs can also be, you know, one of those that goes up against the Niners. I think that would be a super, super great game. But, um, you know, the Niners have um, amazing defense. So that, you know, that Mahomes can score. So that'll be interesting to see what happens in that game. And of course, we have to give shout out to our friend, Shady. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Hi, Shady. Good luck. Okay. It's not that we're not rooting for you, but you don't have gold. <laughs> okay. And so, okay. So, so what is our final? Our final is the Niners, Rhea. That is the... Yes. Yes, I believe. So if you do want to um, bet with us, just go, you know, we have the online app, but you, if you do have a sports betting um like in Nevada or something because we live in Las Vegas you could go to the casino and just go up to the cage and just be like hey I want to bet the Niners to win the Super Bowl or you can do it on your online app which we think is so much easier um or you know some of you might have like offshore gaming you can bet on there um and so Niners for the Super Bowl so we're done with Super Bowl predictions and Rhea and I want to give you a special pick for today so today's game, um, we with the Saturday, we, we, what are we betting, Rhea? We're doing the teaser. Yes. Teaser. <laughs> yes, we are doing the teasers. I already bet it. Did you bet it already? The uh, San Francisco Baltimore? Yes. Or did we do? Okay. Yes. Yeah. So. Um, I haven't bet it yet. I'm going to bet it now. <laughs> I'm going to bet it now. You better bet it. It's like 9.37. I I know, I know. <laughs> oh, but I we should get, get this, this out. Early. We're not going to have this out. Okay. <laughs> we're not, we're not All right. Out okay. <laughs> okay. But um, so our our bet for today is going to be a six point teaser. The Niners. Um, so the Niners originally are giving seven points, um, but we're going to tease it down six points. So that means they only have to win by one to tie or win by two to win. And then the other team that we're going to put into this, so that means that they both have to win, is the Ravens. So we're going to tease the Ravens down from nine and a half to um, three and a half. So they have to win by four points, which maybe we should be doing a six and a half teaser so that, um, because that half a point, the three and a half is okay. not a good line. Um, but you do get more money if you have a six point teaser. So we were actually told that the best odds for the player is doing a two-team teaser for football. So, I mean, for NFL, not college. So that is your best bet. But you do, again, if you do the teaser, you have to win both. So actually, I'm really interested to see who you guys think will be winning the Super Bowl if you agree with my prediction if you agreed with whatever we said so go ahead and put it in the comments below and let me know or let me know if you are betting this or if you need help betting um i will definitely help you it's just fun um yeah. even if you just put like five dollars on it right <laughs> just for some action <laughs> yeah just for some action it really gets you in the game um i know sometimes when there isn't like a responsible betting game like we don't really have 
a good bet out. Sometimes we'll just be like, oh, we just want action. So we'll just put $5 on a game <laughs> just so that we can cheer for it. Yeah. We don't know about it. <laughs> yeah. If we don't, if we don't really know about it because like um, golf or tennis. No. <laughs> oh yeah. Golf or tennis. Yeah. We just, <laughs> okay, let's just put $5 on this and like, let's just really pray we win. Right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Or what do we, Oh, we love to do the, um, when we go to the hockey games here for the golden Knights, um, yeah. we like to pick who's going to score. Yeah. Prop bets. The prop bets. Mm -hmm. But we actually do really bad with March assault. <laughs> <laughs> he like never every time we bet on him he like never scores <laughs> well <laughs> right well the knights are playing tonight so you know you got your yeah. chance again i think he scratched <laughs> oh he, i think he was scratched the last game but um uh, yeah but um uh Pacioretty was like oh, i got him yeah. last game okay so yeah so that is that is my um Super Bowl 54 prediction, we think the Niners, because um, obviously the clues pointed towards the Niners. Um, Rhea gave us some really good stats on the Niners, you know, and Jimmy Garoppolo is super handsome <laughs> with that <laughs> chiseled chin. Well, George Kittle, he's probably the best um, blocking tight end this year. You know, he is averaging 12.6 yards after the catch, so he's really good. He's strong even if somebody tackles him he can run he can still run and then the Niners defense too they've really improved throughout the season they, they have the third most sacks in the league and um the they're like the second fewest points scored against their team so their defense is really stepping up yeah so I mean if you don't believe in this psychic woo woo I mean look at the stats <laughs> we got we actually got information to back this up this year i feel a lot more confident betting on them than we were last year on the eagles right because yeah. <laughs> we're like ah oh. <laughs> yeah just um yeah so remember to bet responsibly and most of all just like have a lot of fun with it right like you're, mm -hmm. i mean make that money it's right? entertainment it's for fun yeah, it's just for fun. Make that money. But even like I said, if you're new to this and you just like put five on the five dollars on the game, the most boringest game could be so interesting. <laughs> right? And we know this because we like convince our friends to do it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then all of a sudden they're like cheering for it. We're like, whoa, like, whoa, where did this come from? You don't know anything about football, but now they're like super into it. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So we hope you, we hope you win, win, win with us on the Niners and, um, and we will actually, oh, let's give them Bill's pick. Oh, so, oh. <laughs> yeah. So, um, Bill Sattler, he is our director of sportsbook for uh, Caesars, and we were talking with him who's going to win, blah, 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 and this week. And um, he actually said to what was his pick? So, he wants, he, this is a long shot, but he was saying to do um, a round robin with all the underdogs, uh, including Clemson for the Monday game, um, you know, college football game. So, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> He said to you can explain what three. the round robin is. Yeah, so do round robin um, with all the underdogs plus Clemson and do twos and threes, he said. Like a $5 gets you, I forgot what he said. But um, but I actually, I I took Clemson plus the points. So okay, good. Yeah. I don't know. I'm still getting pretty good odds on it. Yeah, yeah. So I mean, I that's, took it's... Yeah, it's a championship game. Like six points is quite a bit for a championship and game. And I so. did not get, I did not take the Vikings. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> because we know that Niners are going to win, right? Yeah. Yes. yes. <laughs> so I did not take the Vikings. <laughs> so, um, yep. Yeah, so that's a little bit um, into the minds of Rhea and Pam sports betting. <laughs> We just kind of talk it out until um, we gather all the information. I talk to people, she researches, and we put it all together. And then we talk about it for a while. We think of some scheme and then we bet it and we win. Yes. <laughs> so um, just to have fun though, have fun, bet responsibly. And if you want more of us, we might 
you know, we might be doing something along the road, uh, more like this. If you're interested, please comment below and let us know. So um, yeah, we're so excited. Thank you for joining us and um, good luck on your bets, whatever your bet is. If you want to share it, go ahead and post it below. Um, it'll, we'll, we'll be cheering you on no matter what. Thank you so much, Ria, for coming on. Of course. Thanks for having me, Pam. Yes. And we will see you next time, maybe. Yes. Yeah. Bye. <laughs>